morning. Ooh, what time do you call this? Heavy night, was it? Mum, Dad's text. He said he defo wants me down this weekend. Oh, let's not start all that again, Harry. The answer is still no. That's out of order. They're always allowed to go down. They didn't come in the bottom 20% of their midterm assessment, though, did they? That's it, is it? Because my failure of your stupid experiment. Hey! Just call Dad and ask him. He said I could come any time. Are you listening to me? <laughs> when you and the other governors and some of my staff start believing in it, mate. Someone else you're having to go up. Harry, what's got into you recently? It's not a good idea to turn the breakfast table into a war zone first thing in the morning, is it? Yeah, Harry, don't be a prat. Right, if anyone wants a lift, I'm leaving in five minutes. I seem to have lost my phone, so can someone pick it up for me, please? Bring it now. The girls' results are up. Governors aren't worried about the girls' results. And correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't segregation introduced to help the boys? Hang on. These are only midterm results. So the boys haven't adapted as quickly as the girls. We need to be patient. Thanks, Denise. It's not working yet. We try harder. We try different things. Which brings us to today's event. Chris. Yes. Uh, Year 11 boys are going to be working on a business initiative with local entrepreneur Han Nichols. They'll be developing business plans for a community scheme within the school and the winner gets an award. Sounds good. So why is it being denied to half the school purely on the basis of gender? It's not about denying anybody anything. It's about trying to find new ways to engage boys who don't respond to traditional teaching. Oh, we are having a problem getting the boys to respond to anything. Believe me, I know. Yeah, um... Harry's taken a bit of a dive recently, hasn't he? Some good news from the segregation coalface would be very welcome at the moment. No pressure there, then. <laughs> Isn't that what you boys respond to? Right, uh, moving on. Zambuka Kelly returns to school this morning. I gave her a call this morning and we had a talk about how she might be a positive influence on Denzil. She seemed up for the responsibility. Good. You two had a row or something? No. Start from when we get. First day back and all that. Josh, I am more than ready to come back to work. OK. Sure. Even if both my legs were broke, I'd still drag myself in. Daytime TV's definitely gone downhill since I was a student. Tom. Morning. Yeah. Getting ready to come back? Yep. She won. Hmm. Probably want to welcome the wounded here, I should imagine. Hello? Karen? She hung up on me. She heard me answering, then she hung up on me. Probably at the bottom of her bag with the key knockoff. You ready for this? Wish people would stop asking me that. You've got to stand up for yourself, Denzel. You can't just be a sheep. I've got to listen to this every morning. Well, if you're going to follow people around, then you're going to get trodden all over. I mean, look what happened to me the last time I was here. Oh, look who it is. Did they let you out early, eh? Good behaviour or something. You no, know, I could have come back any time, actually. Well, why now? Have you missed me? Um, if we keep our dens out of trouble. Yeah. You're constantly bending me ears, you. It's got to be worse than any trouble I could be getting into. Fair enough. But things are a bit different round here now. Don't worry about it. If you miss me in class, you can always catch up at break. Oh, I think I've had enough for a term, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, apart from Mr. Gobby over there. I've got some to show you. It's my mum's phone. It's got all her emails on. Stuff about the teachers and loads of other things. Yeah, I'll catch up with you in a minute, Harry. Oi, you two. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Do you not think you two owe me an apology to get me kicked out of school? Sorry. They didn't throw you out. You chose not to come back. Because you planted drugs on me, Amy. What, and do you think I didn't get told off for it? I got excluded. Hey, right, girls, that's hey. enough. <laughs> what is your name, girl? Sam Luca Kelly. Right. 
I know fitting back in is hard, but you're a smart girl. You know this is not the right way to go about it. And what am I supposed to do? Well, act like we're best friends. She got me kicked out of school. Listen, I'm sure the problem with her will resolve itself. OK, focus on you, on setting an example to Denzil. OK? OK. Why did you have to be like that with her? Oh, sir, I just need to speak to Miss Montoya. It's about extra Spanish classes. Ah, oh, the enthusiasm of you. Kirby boy for you. But he's keen. I wish I knew your secret. You'll never know. I'm sure it's something trivial. Then you get done. She just warned me off Amy. And told me to let it go. Well, it makes sense. Well, that's all right for you to say. But I'm not going to stand around and let Amy walk all over me. I'm just going to have to be smart about it. Come on, Harry. What are you doing hanging about? Any homework? No. Should I have done? Do you know, I have had enough trouble with you of late without that kind of lick. Do you understand me? Hey, I thought we'd go to this place. It's in Manchester and it sounds dead classy. My treat. Oh, Jonah, you... I can afford it, and no-one will recognise us there, so... I can't be seen talking here like this. You know that. Exactly. That's why this would be perfect. <laughs> Look, I'll call you after school. I promise. You'd better. <laughs> and now, I'm your teacher and you're my pupil. Oh, so that's how it is, is it? I'm just a pupil. That's what you are, isn't it? Hey, Tom. Welcome back. Good to be here. How are you feeling? Good. You fully recovered? Well, I'm uh, here, aren't I? Uh, how are you feeling in yourself? Uh, good? Ready to jump back into the maelstrom? Yep. Same old, same old. Because what happened to you must have been really... Karen, thank you for asking. I'm fine, but I'll take any help you can offer on how to make Thomas Hardy appeal to Year 11s, but otherwise... OK, how's about in uh, periods five and six you help me on the judging panel with the business initiative? Why? I don't know anything about business. Well, you can offer a whole fresh perspective then, can't you? Fine, but uh, don't blame me if I don't know what to say. It's just a presentation, Tom. Right. Right, just make sure your names are on your worksheets, please. And legible, if you can. Thank you. Miss, are you OK? Can you just hand in your worksheets, please, and get along to your next class? And last, but by no means least, your Shakespeare text is Macbeth. Ooh, smart. Hey, is Hamlet in this? No, Janice, that would be Hamlet. Oh, well, I just thought it might have been a series, you know, like Harry Potter. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that Hamlet isn't in this. Did he go on or what? Busy, I'll come back later. No, no, I think we're finished here, aren't we, Janice? Plenty there to be getting your teeth into. Everything OK? Oh, well, I'll leave you two to it. I don't want to intrude, do I? No, it's not OK. I just got this. We need to discuss your results and disciplinary record. Both are terrible. I'm absolutely horrified. Shouting at the pupils isn't teaching. Oh, you need to confront her with that. Ask her to explain herself. I can't. I mean, I can't. I mean, I can't face her, but you're the union rep, aren't you? Yes. We need to think this through. I mean, she's a formidable opponent, uh, not one to be underestimated. <laughs> Tell you what, yeah, I'll run it past the union. Right, we've got full union backing. Fisher should have spoken to you before issuing a written complaint, and the tone of the email is tantamount to harassment. 
And that means... It means that we are going to have to face her. She's had a go at me and all. Don't know what she thinks that's going to achieve. What, on your first day back? Oh. Look, don't let it get to you, Tom. Because you've had enough on your plate after everything you've been through. Ruby, Grantly, Tanner. We are here on official union business to get an explanation for this. When did you receive this? When I opened my email account this morning. It is from your email account. Are you denying you sent it? I can see that. It contains unsubstantiated allegations, deeply unprofessional criticism, which could be construed as harassment. Well, that's arguable. There will be no debate about it. It is not an accurate appraisal of Mrs. Fry's performance. I think you know it. I'll be the judge of what I know and what I don't know. We will need a written apology by the end of the day. Come on, Mrs. Fry, we're done here. Mum, are you OK? What was that about? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. Mum, Year 11 boys English results. I was wondering if you thought about me going to Dad's this weekend. Darling, now isn't the time. It never is, is it? to a dull roar. I've already dealt with enough offensive rubbish for one morning. What do you mean, sir? Oh, just the uh, <coughs> slight matter of your mother stirring things a little too vigorously. You mean the emails? She tells her son about private communications with the staff. If you think they're bad, you should hear what she says about you behind your back. <laughs> She's always shouting at her laptop. Such as? Harry Short, man. Your mum will go mad. Well, she says some bad words. I mean, I can't say them cos I'd get sent to the cooler. <laughs> but she did say that you were a troublemaker. I I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? Ooh, stinger. Got to work that one, sir. Shut up. Right, get on with your work in silence. Yes, Harry. You wanted to see me? I came that close to telling her she deserved every word. Trouble is, I can't remember sending it. But you must know if you sent it or not. I started an email to her about her results, nothing more. And I can't believe I was quite so direct. It was late and I'd had a glass, well, uh, a couple of glasses of wine. Look, I get home, I eat, I argue with my kids, I open a bottle, try and get on with some work. Not proud of it, believe me. So, uh, things are tough at home? Mm, mainly Harry. Ever since the divorce came through, I just dread having a conversation with him. Either one of us always flies off the handle. Well, don't beat yourself up. Can't be easy being a single mum. I hadn't quite thought of myself as that. Now you know half the parents around here feel. Segregation isn't working its magic on him. And here I am, trying to tell everyone else to be patient about the boys' results, and I can't even get through to my own son. Mm. Will you have a word with him? 
Me? Mm. I think he's missing out on male conversation. Uh, yeah, OK. Fine. I'll just get all this organised first. Anna Grantly Budgeon with some more information. <laughs> yes, it seems our Mrs. Fisher has something to say about everyone in the school. Insulting personal attacks and, but get this, she is even complaining about my legitimate activities as union rep. <laughs> A face to face with you. Oh, that would put the fear of God into her. Pero, ¿qué quieres decir? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo? No, ¿qué? ¿Cómo? <laughs> ¿Qué quieres decir? What are you saying? No tango, no idea, Rio. <laughs> What's gotten into you, Harry? Is this really the way you want to behave? Be the grinning idiot at the back of the class? You're calling me an idiot, miss. <laughs> Calm down, kid. I'm trying to take everyone on today. Dylan, can you please read? Como es que estudia usted cuando las familias gitanas están asentadas durante muchos años en una localidad es más fácil que eso. Miss Montoya, can I have a word with Harry Fisher, please? What's going on? Your schoolwork and your behaviour have really dipped recently. You sound just like my mum. She's worried about you. She's asked me to have a chat on her behalf. So, rather than her talking to me, she's got you to do it for hey, her? show a bit of respect, please. Now, come on, what's wrong? Don't know. Ask her. Or she can ask me herself. Wait, she can't be bothered. She's under a lot of pressure at the moment. I don't care. How would you like it if your mum was your head teacher? Listen. This business initiative today should be good fun. I think that would be a really good opportunity for you to show me and your mum that you can apply yourself like we know that you can. And if I don't? What's one going to do, put me in the cooler? Or get you to have another chat with me? Come on, Harry. Let's see what you're capable of, eh? OK. Business initiative? Well, I don't see why we can't do it. Yeah. Wouldn't it just as good at business too? Better. And we get an afternoon off school? Yeah. 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 Look, I don't know why you're so bothered about it. It's just another thing to keep the stupid boys happy. So why aren't they bother about keeping us happy? Uh, because we're not dumb like them. What, so you're just going to take everything they give you? Behave like good little girls because you're scared of getting into trouble. Sam's right. It's not fair, is it? Oh, yeah. So then let's do something about it. Like what? Start a protest? No. You just think of some of his own ideas. Oh, yeah. Why not? Looking conspiratorial girls. Miss, we think we should be able to come up with business ideas as well. Sounds like you've already made your minds up and I'm not going to stand in the way of students wanting more education. See? Even the teacher agrees with us. Oh, come on, Amy. What's the worst that could happen? We're asking for more work. It's not like we're truing in or getting into trouble, is it? Yeah. Well, I am on board. So, um, I want you to pick a theme and write 250 words. If we're going to compete against the boys, we do something that they would never think of. Story. We set up a school dating agency. But these ideas are supposed to add value, now, uh, like solve problems. Dating's just a lot. Yeah, but being single and mad it is a problem. Plus, if it makes a few months hook up, then that's better for the rest of us. Girls! A theme is an idea... They're going to want something more schooly. Academic and that. Well, it's a business idea. It needs market. What's going to be more popular with kids around here than dating? She is right, you know. Girls! Hey! I am here, you know. When I said be quiet, I damn well meant it.
You okay, miss? Miss Bontai? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, everyone back to work, please. that round there mate anything could happen to it is that right tell you what give us a tenner and i'll look after it make sure it doesn't get no scratches okay son how about this anything happens to my car i'll hold you personally liable for every penny's worth of damage okay you're a witness which makes this a legally binding contract and just to give you a ballpark figure me last free spray cost 1500 before tax we good <laughs> pleasure doing business with you I think you need to talk to him. Seems more like a family thing. Oh? Well, he's quite touchy. He's very defensive, and I think maybe the divorce is affecting him more than he's letting on. But as far as the school side of things go, I think I got through. Oh, thanks, Chris. Seems like the more scrutiny I'm under, the more pressure I'm passing on to him. Mm. Hello, Han. How are you? How are you? Very well. This is Chris Mead, who's organised today's event. Hey, mm, tough call. I don't know who's going to give you more grief, me or the kids. <laughs> I bet Karen here can be a bit of a taskmaster in all. <laughs> Shall we uh, go through to the hall? I'll catch up with you later. I heard Mr Mead had a quiet word with you. So? Harry? What? You expect me to be grateful now that you're talking to me yourself, rather than using him? Thanks a lot. Right, if you'd all like to find a table and settle into your teams, please. Uh, I should warn you that there's uh, some tricky lads in this year group. You'll be fine. But this one will need to sharpen up. You'll need a new brain first, mate. Hey, behave. Yeah. Well, you'll get this. Kyle, uh, I want you to go and sit on that table over there next to Harry. With him? Just sit down. Sharky started it. Finn, over there. Come on, lads, over here. Be late. Ding, ding. When's the next round? There won't be a next round. Right. This is Mr. Han Nichols. And he's kindly coming to school today to give you an insight into what it is to be a successful entrepreneur. OK, lads, you've all been given the brief by Mr Mead. Remember, your ideas need to be A, practical, B, improve the quality of school life, and C, use only equipment easily available in the school. All right, you've got 30 minutes now to develop your ideas in your groups and come up with a presentation by the end. OK, let's get to work. I hope you know what you're doing. Because if we don't win this, I know who I'll be blaming. Karen knows about us. She can't do. Oh, no? Explain this. It doesn't mention us. It doesn't have to. Who have you told? No one. Oh, come on. Who? No, I would never do that. Hey, keep your voice down. I swear it. Why would I? Oh, hardly matters. The end result's all the same. I can't believe how stupid I've been. Whoa! No. Don't even think about it. You're not doing your conversation classes? No, that's over and done with. Aren't you supposed to be in football practice? Do you know what? I feel like sitting here all day and leaving them all to it. Only Karen's stuck me in this business initiative scheme all afternoon. Karen has? Yeah, Karen. It's like she's sitting on our shoulders trying to monitor everything that we do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sieska? I think I'm in serious trouble with her. Why? What have you done? She didn't say. Her email just said to report to her office after school. 
Well, you must have done something. But I haven't. OK. You've no right to imply I've done anything wrong. Don't you have a go at me. It's bad enough getting it off the kids. That's on top of everyone treating me like a basket case. Oh, Tom, me. Tom, Tom! Wait, I didn't mean it. We could set up a business specialising in cleaning school science equipment. It's always filthy. Who cares about that? OK, what in green, then? Um, we could start our own compost heap. I mean, set up an allotment on the school grounds. Growing carrots. No chance. All right. You think of something. OK. Well, what about me beating you up so nobody can see? It'd be a great investment. Sorry. it. Sid, what's your idea? Behave as if I'd share anything with you. If it meant keeping your teeth, you might. Your choice. Here's what we're doing. This can't be what they're doing, it's stupid. Like you'd know. Shaq even drew the diagram. He didn't want to, but what was he going to do? We're going to get well done for it. Oh, shut it, Fish. Uh, is there a problem? Nothing. Just getting on with it. Harry? This is a load of rubbish. A lot of people have made a big effort to make this work for you today. I didn't ask you to. No, but the head teacher did. Now, I suggest you buckle down, you get your idea going, and you help Kyle. Otherwise, your mum's going to be finding out what a little pain you're being today. Well, they, uh, they seem to be getting into it. We'll see. It's a shame it had to be something for the school. You're trying to engage kids that don't like school, right? Yeah, more or less. So why do you keep pushing school on them? Free them up. Listen to them. They might surprise you. Hello, love. Have you seen your sister anywhere? Yeah, yeah, she's gone into town. She had to go to the library to get a book for this humanities uh, coursework. Oh. Yeah, she mentioned it to you last night before she went to bed. Do you not remember? Did she? Right. Oh, well, not to worry. I'll catch up with her later. Wasn't sure you'd make it. <sighs> Must be difficult bunking off when your mum's the head. Well, what she doesn't know can't hurt her. Oh, you bad girl. <laughs> I have a moment. Let's hope so. Shall we? OK, everyone. Duties have arrived. So if the first group get ready, I want you all to pay attention to their presentation. Right, you're first. How's Harry been? Um, what? Well, just more of the same, really. It's my fault. I need to talk to him. OK, folks, this is it. Remember, presentation is important, but the idea is the key. The best spin in the world won't sell a weak idea. You ready, boys? <laughs> Save that for the talent shows. <laughs> the only applause we want is a yes at the end and a signature on a contract. Off you go. These days, recycling is dead important. Everybody's banging on about it. So our idea is to recycle drinking water back into the school. We'll recycle the water from the school sinks and toilets <laughs> where, um, and we'll pump it back into the kitchen where then it'll be filtered and then boiled. <laughs> filtered. <laughs> you should then have to lunch. Whoa, stop. Are you taking the mick? No. You think piping raw sewage into the school kitchen is a good idea? Well, yeah, actually. It'd be a public health disaster. <laughs> You're wasting my time and everyone else's. You hear that kind of laughter at a pitch, you've got it very, very wrong. I hope they're not all going to be like this. I don't know why you're laughing, Sharky. This was your stupid idea. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to think of something else, eh, boys? <laughs> Just wait till this is over. We'll see who's laughing. Oi, that is enough. Just calm down. Go and put your file up. Hey. 
It's a pity no one liked your idea about boiling up crap in it. Yeah, come on! Tough! Is that when you fight, is it? When someone's being held back? Kyle, you go to the cooler now, please. Mr. Mead, can you take over here, please? Yeah. <laughs> Told you there'll be a next round. Right. I am OK. It's just when he lunged forward at me like that. That's an everyday occurrence here, to be dealt with firmly and calmly, and that wasn't your reaction. No, I know, I know, and I've said that I'm sorry. Sorry isn't the answer here, Tom. You threw a child to the ground. This is Kyle Stack. It's the only language that he understands. Tom, this isn't you, is it? Well, how would I know? All day long, people asking me if I'm OK, or whether I think it's too early that I've come back. And now you've proved them wrong, have you? You got aggressive with Kyle. And you know what, Tom, for a moment, I thought you were going to turn on me. Every day since this has happened to me, I've just been playing it through in my head. Every punch, every, every kick, I feel like a frightened kid or something. You've got to understand we've got a difficult situation here. You've more or less assaulted a child. That is an exaggeration. Is it? I've got to bring in occupational health and have you assessed. What, a shrink? Until you're assessed and deemed fit, you can't work at Waterloo Road. Well, how long will that be? I don't know. But at the moment, you're a liability to everyone around you. Let's just hope Carl's mother doesn't press charges. Whatever you recommend, don't worry about the price. As you wish. So where were we? You were talking about your sister? Yeah, but it's pretty boring, really. Oh, well, I don't know. Bex and a dark secret. Sounds intriguing. What is it? See, that's the thing. I don't know. She won't say. It doesn't really make any sense. I know it's about money. Most things are. Yeah, but most people don't throw money away, do they? She threw money away? Yeah, loads of it. But that's Bex for you. Unnecessary. Drama's a middle name. Oh, my God, it is amazing in here. I am such a lucky girl. I don't think luck has anything to do with it. <laughs> the beauty of study base is it doesn't require any extra work from teachers or students. We combine the existing she elements of the teaching process. Students do the work as normal. No trees there. I just missed the last two pictures. So I don't know how it's going to work when it comes to judging. You'll have to be judge and jury all by yourself then, won't you? People put in here year after year when it could be shared to help students like you. Uh, hang on a sec, girls. What are you doing? We've come to pitch up our ideas. No, 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 no. Come on. This is just for the boys. Out we go. Well, we just want a chance. Do we not even deserve that? They've got my attention. Thank you. All right, then. Why don't you have a seat next to Harry over there? Wow, Sam. You really can't get enough of me, can you? Might have to wait this one, though. I'm a little bit busy, yeah? Get over yourself, Finn. I wasn't talking to you, was I? Well, you mess with one of us and you get the rest of us. Thanks. Oh, we're a team. We sit together. Well, we are. Do you need to spend a lot of your time in here, Kyle? Yeah. It's because you lot keep chucking me in here. Even when it's me being attacked by a teacher. I'd be very careful if I were you, Kyle. Do you remember your first day at this school? You set a dangerous dog on my daughter. And my every instinct told me to throw you out. But it was Miss Lawal who convinced me I should give you a second chance. But I'm the victim this time. Victim? What, copying other students' work? Menacing pupils? Being verbally abusive to members of my staff? Doesn't sound too good, does it? On top of your previous record. No, miss. I'm sorry, OK. All I'm asking is that you give Mr Clarkson a second chance. The way we did for you. Well, he is a bit... His confidence has taken a bit of a knock recently. I think we should all be aware of that. 
So what do you think, Carl? It was nothing. A misunderstanding. Good. Should we go and join the others? Miss. What? You know the bit in paragraph three where she talks about her father? It's a test translation. Just do your best. Miss? What? I feel sick. You'll be fine. No, miss. I need to go. No. You've got to believe me when I say I haven't told anyone. You don't need to, drawing attention to us like that. Because you think I've been going around bragging about you like some stupid kid. Can't you see? This is my job on the line here. My entire life. I'm sorry. I'm going to go see Karen after this period. Get it over with. I can't stand this anymore. See what you were going for, but I didn't feel that you really believed in what you were saying yourself. And if you don't, well, there's no way on earth anyone else is going to believe you, let alone invest in you. What are the girls doing here? Oh, they just barged in. I tried to get them to leave, and your mate Han wanted them to stay. This is supposed to be boys only. I've been talking this up as a shining example of segregation in action. Yeah, I know, but you said you wanted me to keep him sweet. I'll surf them out if you want. Well, it's too late now. Just leave it. Had enough aggro for one day. OK, the girls' presentation's next. Ah, this is Ruby Fry, recipient of the first of these communiques. Don't worry, we will sort this out. Oh, well, your support in this makes the world a difference. What happened to you isn't acceptable. And if Miss Fisher has indeed been discussing these matters with her children first, then that's even more unprofessional. Mm, and she'd be looking at... Written censure, certainly. Possibly even suspension. But that does depend on how she responds today. Quite. Quite. Well, shall we...? I'd like to run through everything again, just to make sure we're all on the same page. Social networking sites are popular, but they have their problems. People not being who they say they are, and genuine people living too far away. And what does our school have plenty of? Hot girls, cute boys, and yet still loads of people are single. Our project, Class Day, will help make this... Come to see what you've done, have you? The girls said you encouraged them. All I said to the girls was, make your voices heard like you would have done. They were already fired up. Or just a bit of fun. Class Day is the answer. Since when was I missed the segregation, anyway? It wasn't even my idea. So it's free of any other dangers of the other social network sites. Vote for Class Day. I was supposed to say that. No, you wasn't. Um, it was my idea, yeah, I was actually. And if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here. I think you just got that email I sent him. I need to speak to you. Can it wait? Let's go. No. We can't. When you were producing such a detailed pitch. It was funny, and you certainly made your point. But let's see what the judges say when they come to making their decision. I don't believe you. I support you to the hilt with this segregation. Even when you start acting like it was all my idea, I organised today and I deal with your mate Han, who's hardly a walk in the park. I'll talk to Harry for Chris, you. Chris, what are you talking about? This. Karen, I know you said it at the end of the day, but I'm finding the pressure rather intolerable. What? Ah, Mrs Fisher, I believe you know Anna Poulton, our union official. Mrs Fisher, I wish we were meeting in happier circumstances. What is going on? Do you really think this is how I would express my dissatisfaction with you? My members do all have written proof. Well, I'm not disputing that. I'm asking your members whether this seems like something I would do. Poorly worded, insulting, unsubstantiated emails. That's what's so hurtful about it. Cheska, you and I have always had our differences, but we've resolved them through talking, Chris. I thought you knew me better. So you're denying writing these? Well, of course I am. It's not how I run my school. 
I like to think I enjoy a mutual respect with members of my staff. Seems I was mistaken. As I said before, the girls' pitch was entertaining. Extra kudos for having the stones to get in here in the first place. But ultimately, Class Day is just another dating site. So the award today goes to an idea so simple, I can't see how it wouldn't work. The winner is Study Base. Finn, Josh, Nate. Yeah! Screwed up big time. Really Mum's gonna kill me. Oh, Harry, just give it to me. You'll get caught with it for sure. But you've all done yourselves proud, and you've certainly been better behaved than your teachers. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but it seems as if someone in school has hacked into my email account. Obviously, this is a serious matter, as the same person might well have stolen my mobile phone. So we'll start with a voluntary search of all bags in here to begin with. All your bags on the tables now, please. Make sure you put them right up. Come on. No way they're searching me. I didn't steal stupid phone. Uh, Amy, where are you going? Home. And they said the search was voluntary. You got something there, hi? You calling me a thief? No. But you won't mind us checking, will you? Mrs. Fisher, is that yours? No way. No, I don't believe this. Come on. This is so unfair. What did you do that for? Saving your bacon, pal. Amy's going to get well done for that. So? Look, she set me up, Harry. It's time to have a taste of her own medicine. That's out of order. You hated it when they did that don't to you. Don't get all high and mighty on me. This is stuff that you've done. No one had to take the blame. We could have dumped the phone and walked away. Oh, and I thought you were supposed to be avoiding trouble. Wait, hang on. What's so early you want it to be hard? Oh, look at me and stick it to your mum. It's not fair. It just causes more aggro for you, Amy, and my mum. So now you don't want to upset her. Make your mind up, Harry. I have. Right, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Harry! I didn't do it. I never even seen my phone before you found it. Harry! It was me. All of it. I took the phone and I sent the emails. See? And I put the phone in Amy's bag. Thanks a bunch, yeah? Right, Amy. Come on, let's go. Have you any idea of the amount of trouble you've caused me today? Didn't mean to. I mean, it started off as a joke. A joke? What, destroying the trust between myself and key members of staff? That's very funny. Sorry. What is wrong with you at the moment, Harry? It's just one thing after another. There's your results, endless complaints from staff, your attitude. Do you ever think about anyone else but yourself? I don't know. Do you? What? How dare you, after what you've done today? What about what you've done? You know, I used to have two parents that would listen to me and help me. Now all I've got is a mum that shouts, issues orders, and will only talk about stuff connected to your precious job. And I've got a dad that I'm not even allowed to see! Harry? 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 Stop! What are you gonna do? Exclude me for letting down the side. As your head teacher, yes. I do have to discipline you. <laughs> Big deal. As your mother, I just want to say I'm really sorry. For what? For not listening to you. Not being there for you. Not being a very good mother. I struggled since your dad left. I miss him too. You never say that though, do you? You never talk about it. 
It's like I don't even exist. All you seem to care about is how well I eat and how well I do at school. That's not true. But if I've made you feel like that, then I'm really sorry. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I think we should make a promise that we never, ever let it get as bad as this again. Okay. Amy! Lauren! Right, wait, what? Well, it was me. You put the phone in your bag. I'm sorry. You utter cow! See what she's like, Lauren? What she's really like? That is a crappy thing to do. Yeah, I know. I, I know it was wrong, but... Look, I spent all that time just thinking about how to get back at you. And it's stupid. But I'm sorry. Right, well, I'm sorry to you then. And I should have said sorry earlier. Much earlier. Can we call them, yeah? Hello, girls. Nice try with the whole dating thing, but don't think us guys need it as much as you. Denzel, what are you doing with him? Well, I went to Miss Fisher and said I should be his mentor since you're doing such a bad job of it. Are you joking? No. Nah. She was well up for it. Not surprised after I've just won the business initiative. Dad, hang on. Are you okay? What's it look like? I just want to get home. No, don't look at me like that. I'll be okay. Sending me for counselling. That's good, isn't it? If you say so. You got beat up, Dad. It's a big deal. No one thinks you're weak. You just need help. Why can't everyone just accept that? I want to forget about it and move on. Because you can't. That's why you need counselling. Yeah, well, I don't have any choice in the matter. I either go or I don't have a job. Who's a false alarm? We're okay. <laughs> See? I told you I didn't tell anyone. All I want to do right now is just go home with you. Mm. That was amazing. You went, thank you. Anything for you, babe. Anything. Oh, I just... I can't wait to be able to just come out about all this and show you off. So you want to swap bunking off school? Meals in fancy hotels for a mug of tea round the kitchen table. Boring. I know, I know, but I... No buts. I don't want to share you. I want all of you. All to myself. Our dark little secret. So what now? I don't need to be back till 11. Well, this is a hotel. So I booked us a room. Of course, I can just drop you back off at yours if that's what you prefer. 